Right, hello my friends. Today uh, we're going to be looking at terrifying facts that are actually true. And me and Basil here are going to be seeing if our timbers get shivered. Put your hands up if you're, if you're happy to be here. <laughs> oh, I didn't really think this through. I bought such a bloody small dog. You can't even see his head. Look at this short You what? You don't even fit in the frame. This bog is on your face right now. Is it? But it can't be seen by the naked eye. These mites are mainly found in your hair, eyebrows, and beard. But since they live inside- <laughs> Well, that's one thing I've got covered. You can't get me on that one. All right, let's Run. see how much venom this snake is going to give us. So we'll see. Like I said, we'll have her bite multiple times. And there she goes. Oh, God, look at all that. Look at, look at that. How much has she got? And we're probably looking at, oh gosh, three or 400 milligrams of dry weight here. And we think about 20 milligrams of king cobra venom is a lethal dose, so. That snake can kill 20 blokes at once. 20 blokes? That's probably about a thousand ewes, little dwarf. This is the Magnificent Tower Bridge, yeah. but what- And my favorite bridge of them all. All of these unsuspecting tourists have absolutely no idea that they are standing on top of one of London's most gruesome secrets. This is Dead Man's Hole. During huh? high tide, victims of murder, suicide, drowning, and whatever else would wash up into this little alcove. Bodies washed up here so often they had to build a small mortuary right behind that door to store bodies while they waited to be identified. Oh, oh. They even built these stairs to make retrieving the bodies easier. Now this oh. is the part that is the most nauseating. The reason this archway is so nicely tiled rather than the exposed cobblestone and every other bridge in London is because decomposing bodies often build up so much gas that they explode and tiles are easier to wipe clean. Dead bodies explode! I, I, I know! Yeah, I know, I know you're right, sir. I didn't think so either. Three terrifying facts about space. Number three, the great attractor. Can you just watch these bloody videos and stop pl Excuse you? NASA has discovered a region of the Milky Way that seems to be pulling galaxies into itself. Oh. Known as the great attractor, it is hidden in a blind zone which cannot be seen from Earth. Oh, so it's a black hole? Or... Yeah, all right. Do you want to go down? You had enough? No, you're just going to sit on my lap. Out of shot, biting your tail. That's not really much help. One black hole very close to Earth is wandering at speeds of 3 million miles per hour, ripping apart galaxies very close to our Milky Way. 3 million miles an hour? Solar flares are a common phenomenon, where UV rays are emitted in huge quantities. Right, I'm sick of you, you're sacked. Oh, you go. Your tail, it is you. Stop eating it. If a flare hits the Earth, all electronics on Earth will stop working. The UV I thought that you get loads of solar flares. That millions of people could get skin cancer. Oh, bit of a dour note to lead on it. This is the crypt where people were bricked up alive. Hi guys, I'm here in York. <laughs> they were what? This is the crypt where people were bricked up alive. Hi guys, I'm here in York. <laughs> but you can't be bricked up dead, can you? What's this? Like top ten fucking dogging spots in Yorkshire? And while the hospital did an immeasurable amount of good for the community, they did have a cruel and unusual punishment for anyone who broke their rules. If you broke their rules, they would brick you up alive. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like a punishment to me. For example, there was this medieval monk who was known to be a nasty drunk. As punishment, they bricked him up in the walls of this crypt to die. However, a year later, they could still hear him singing and broke- and Jack and Jill went up the hill da, 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 die. Leave the balloons alone. Excuse the helium balloons. Uh, we've been trying to find out uh, how many of them it takes to lift him up. If you're from the RSPCA, we treat him very well. He's really well looked after, aren't you? Yeah. Love your job. Gotta earn your keep somehow. People just starved and died inside the walls of this building, which I'm sure they were cool with and didn't make them a vengeful spirit or anything. Not to mention the- But if you bricked it all the way up, how did they breathe? Like, surely there was no oxygen. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and pretend the walls aren't full of dead medieval people. Have a nice day. This woman, see, I don't like these type- I'm sure she's nice enough, but I don't like people who are obsessed with, like, scary stuff and, like, death. I just feel like you gotta have a screw loose to make videos about this stuff. Who are you woofing at? So this space fact genuinely makes me feel sick to my stomach. Alright, please share. Imagine this for me. We strap yep. you into a spacesuit and teleport mm -hmm. you into space. What would like you it. see? Well, it depends where you are, right? If we drop you out near Jupiter, you might see something like this. Or if we yep. put you next to a black hole, you might see something like this if you survived long enough. But if we put you in deep space, in the darkness between galaxies, there is a good chance you would see nothing at all. No light huh? in any direction. Incomprehensibly How? dark. That's got to be bollocks, because I, if I look up, I can see loads of stars. And I know we're in, like, a galaxy, right, and there's probably a few near her. But surely if it's just pitch blackness and there's no light, light's going to end up towards you anyway, right? You're going to, it's going to end up hitting your eyeballs. Can you imagine the feeling? 
creepy stuff. No, I think you're full of shit. Just a fucking neon sign and a YouTube plaque behind him. He knows nothing. Facebook has enacted an emergency shutdown of two artificial intelligence programs. The okay. social media giant leapt into action after it discovered the two programs were writing their own code. Oh no, don't write your own code. Balls have a ball to me, 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 me. I can have a ball, have a ball. What? What is he growling at? Basil, I just want to make a reaction video. Give us the balloon back now. Can I have the balloon? Give us the balloon. No, you're gonna get... What happened? Have you heard about the mummy wrapping parties from the Victorian age? I have not. Merchants would actually get paid to take mummies all over Europe. By the 19th century, people were huh. obsessed with mummies and it- That's a bit insensitive, right? They'd get cancelled for doing that these days. Just leave them where they are. Fucking British Empire. We are a bunch of robin bastards, by the way. So they would have like a surgeon there, a doctor explaining what they would- say. Unwrap a mummy! Specifically, there was a guy named Thomas Peck, sure, who was punk. a doctor as well to Queen Victoria, and he was very famous for Unwrap. What are you doing on that chair? You know you're not allowed on there. What are you doing? I didn't even know you could get up here. You've only got stumpy little legs. Absolute knobhead. Right, get down because I can't let you jump down because you've got a stupidly long back and you'll hurt yourself. Right. Hey, don't you jump down there. Don't you jump. Right, come here. Come here. Knobhead. Right, stay here and cause no trouble. Eventually, the parties became more exclusive and more small and more expensive. First, he started with a lecture. Then he started unrolling the bandages, taking out the objects. That is bang out of order. And people wanted to see that. Like, people wanted to go to a dinner party and see somebody unwrap, like, a thousand-year-old dead body. Just give us me three-course meal. There are dozens of families who still don't know what happened to the bodies of the loved ones they donated to Biological Resource Center. Her name was Doris Stopper. Jim Stoffer does know, but he almost wishes he didn't. It makes it hard. <laughs> Doris's spleen's been used as a crack pipe. Stoffer donated his mother's body in 2013. His after mother? She battled all he looked old enough to be a, like, husband. Years later, though, Stoffer says he found out what really happened. His mom's body, according to Reuters, was sold to the U.S. military. There should be no fucking use for them. Well, they're gonna have dead Doris on the front line. Oh, yeah. Send her in with the fucking attack dogs, lads. K9 unit in your the US military, why? On some sort of an apparatus and a, a detonation which took place underneath her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, we shouldn't laugh. Why have they exploded his dead mom? To basically kind of get an idea of when a vehicle is hit by an IED. <laughs> That seems quite insensitive. Every time I would dream about my mom, <laughs> I told you she was a quiet person. <laughs> yeah, not when she fucking exploded. <laughs> Sorry. They have sexual urges. Who has sexual Oh, dolphins! They're, they are randy fuckers, aren't they? Peter liked to be with me. He would rub himself on my knee or my foot or my hand or... Well, why are we putting this on Peter? You're a dolphin nonce. Peter had caused Margaret some minor injuries on her legs and stuff of pushing like an obsessed suitor. Oh, sorry, maybe I'm victim blaming here. Hang on, hold the bus. Peter, you dirty dog. But as Peter's urges grew more frequent, Margaret felt the best way of focusing his mind back on the lessons was to relieve his desires herself manually. Uh, Margaret! Are you telling me? Margaret shagged a fish. Co cover your ears, son. It was very uh, precious. It was very gentle. Uh, Peter was right there. Margaret! She went off a dolphin puzzle! It was not sexual online. Sensuous, perhaps. We've just become Sen part of what was going on. Like an itch, just get rid of that. We'll That's illegal. That's got to be illegal, even if you're like a Sea World carer, right? Well, especially if you're a Sea World carer, but like an animal person. This dolphin was madly in love with her. <laughs> Fella, how have you let your wife cheat on you with a fucking dolphin? Margaret and Peter's relationship was continuing to deepen. 
why is Margaret not in prison? The girl who talked to dolphins, aye? The girl who fucking did, did a bit more than talking. In 1942, Walt Disney Why is this being narrated by Carl Jacobs? The mask was designed so that children would carry it and wear it as part of a game. This would reduce the fear associated with wearing a gas mask and hopefully improve their wear time and hence survivability. Oh, see, now that's terrifying. In England, the Mickey Mouse gas masks were bright red and blue colors to attract children. They were designed to fit kids 18 months to four years old. Were they now? Oh yeah, look at that. that. Yeah, that screams come running towards me, six year old. To attract children, they'd be fucking terrified. What are you? Did you just whack that with your ears? There was a bus driver who worked for the country hospital. One day he was transporting 20 mental patients to the state insane asylum. When he got back to the bus, he was shocked to find it empty. All of the mental patients had managed to get free and escape. Worried they would lose his job, the crafty bus driver came up with a plan. He drove the bus down the road and pulled over at the first bus stop he could find. He opened the doors and all the people waiting there got in the bus. The bus driver then immediately took off to the insane asylum and told the staff when he got there normal. that these were the patients that were especially violent and had oh, to be so restrained even and that you couldn't trust them at all They costs. weren't even mental. It took months before the staff realized that there was a mistake. If you're crying about that bottle, I feel like this is a bit over the top. No, you can't have the plastic bottle because you'll just swallow it. There is a secret about Disneyland the company doesn't want you to know. If you rode the Pirates of the Caribbean ride back in the 1960s, you would be impressed with how realistic the skeletons looked. That's because when this oh, ride no. opened at Disneyland, all no, of the, the skeletons word, on the attraction were actual human bones. Now, they tried to install fake skeletons, <laughs> but Walt Disney thought they looked too fake. So instead, they worked Walt with the Disney's medical center at UCLA to get their hands on the real thing. <laughs> it was just Doris. Yeah, Doris is in the corner. So we've all played Ring Around the Rosie, but it's not what you think. The game was originally based off the Black Plague. <laughs> the Black Plague. <laughs> Not the plague. You hiding roses in your pockets to hide the smell of decomposing bodies. Yeah, we all fall down. Is this news just reached America? No, 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 no. We'll all fall down because we're dead from the black plague. I think this is a bit over the top. That's not that scary. Don't you ever get scared when you're crossing in the middle of the ocean? What, so this is just when you look around and you can't see anything but sea? Oh, I don't like that. Oh my god. There's just no there. Should he get like big headlights or something, right? This is the story of the woman who was left horribly disfigured by a chimpanzee. I'ma sit this one out. Three things are illegal in North Korea. All right, let's have them. Men and women have been given illustrated guides of approved hairstyles. Having a haircut other than these is considered unacceptable. However, the most severe punishment is for those who try to copy the hairstyle what? of Kim Jong-un, which is specially reserved for him. Ah! He's got his own special trim. I mean, it's, it's barbaric, but it's elite. Where are you? What are you eating? He's fucking eating something. You're not allowed on there either. Don't you dare. Don't you dare jump. All right, go on, I'll go. This fucking moment. Brazil! Number two, luxury items. It is forbidden to possess any item of luxury for ordinary North Koreans as they go against socialist values. However, these restrictions do not apply to the elite. Really? But surely, like, that can't last. Like, surely it has to get, like, overthrown at some point. Number one, disrespect towards the leaders. All three leaders of the Kim dynasty are referred to as dear leader. Any form of dissent towards the Kim family is met with infamous punishments. Even if one person is convicted of disrespecting the leadership, their entire immediate family face the risk of serving a sentence. Yeah, family too, just because what, you're being lippy. That's outrageous. 